Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about my another lesson of the Rust book. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the slice. So in the previous videos, I have shown you that what is data type and all of these things and what is array. But now I'm going to extend this topic more of the array that is basically the slice. It is also a part of the array, but now the array topic is going to be extended more. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the slice. So let's go to the screen. As you can see here that I'm currently present in the Visual Studio code and in the previous videos I have shown you that what is array but now I'm going to close this and create another directory by the name of slice. So let's open the terminal and now what I'm going to do is to create cargo new 7 and then this slice this is the directory name and now let's na write name slice okay so this is the package name right. So slice is the package name seven uh, underscore uh, slice is basically the directory name. If I open the main dot rs. So let's remove this. First of all, discuss that what is a slice. So slice is basically taking a portion of an array. So let's say if I have like one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. These are some of the uh, numbers that are present in an array. But let's say if I want to print a specific portion or a specific number from that array. Let's say if I want to print two or if I want to print three or if I want to print four or taking the specific number from this num from these numbers, then it will be called the slice. So uh, if I take a look at the syntax of it, so the syntax is basically simple. This is a syntax. All right. So I am percent R array and now it could be like uh, uh, zero, one, two. All right. So it depends on you that what kind of number that you want. The index is starting from zero. You need to keep this in mind. The index index is starting from from zero. All right. So yeah, this is the point that you need to keep in mind. Basically, when you will print the numbers like one, two, three, four, five. All right. So as you can see here that the uh, number is starting from one, but uh, this number will not be counted uh, from zero. Instead, it will be counted like this. So zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So when you want to access five, no, uh, when you will, uh, when you want to access five, then you don't need to write the five. Instead, you need to write the four. So with this fourth number, you will be able to access the fifth number. All right. So with this four index number, you will be able to access the fifth number. So similarly, if you have like six, all right. So in this case, you need to write the five index number and the five index number will basically print you the sixth actual number from the array. All right. So I'm going to show the example of it that what, what do I mean by this? But basically this is big as, uh, this is the actual syntax of the slice that how you can print uh, a specific portion of an array. And this is the ampersand sign with array. So what does it mean? So basically it means that when you will print the, uh, when you will write any kind of array, when you will declare it, so uh, the slice will just take a reference of that array. It will not be the actual array. Instead, it will take the reference of it. All right. So in slice, the, let me just uh, comment it. In slice, uh, the array, is just a reference to the actual array the actual array, all right so the array is just a reference to the actual array it is not the actual array itself instead it is just referring to the actual or the original array if i write like uh, original it will be fine right okay so now let's go to the uh, what you can say let's comment this also it will be helpful for you now let's write main function and inside this main function what i'm going to do i'm going to write array okay and now uh, let's uh, give this array like data types i32 this will be the uh, signed into uh, signed integer okay this will take the positive and negative number also and now let's uh, give the length of this is five. All right. So the, it will take only five numbers. All right. So those five numbers could be like uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's start from five. All right. So five. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are five numbers. If I write like more numbers, it will not be accepted in this array. Right. 
Now let's say if I want to take a slice of that array, then what I will do, I will simply write slice and then ampersand sign array this will take the uh, actual uh, this will take the reference of this original array it is not the actual array right so this is just uh, the you need to keep in mind now let's say zero so the index is starting from zero that's why it will only print the fifth number all right so let's print this so let's write like this a slice okay so yeah, this will uh, work fine if I print this for you. Let's go to this uh, directory, uh, cd7 slice, and now let's write cargo run. All right, so there is any, uh, some kind of error. All right, so the uh, basically the syntax is this. You don't need to write the uh, put the comma. Instead, you need to put the semicolon, right? Like this, clear here. Now you can see here that as you can see here this is the fifth number that is printed because the index is starting from zero that's why fifth will be denoted from zero and if i write one then sixth will be identified from this one index all right so if i write like this as you can see here sixth number is printed here okay so yeah this is basically the uh, slice that i was uh, talking about that you will just take the slice or a portion of an array and that portion of an array will be a reference not the actual or the original array right so yeah this is the point now here is another thing that i'm also going to discuss and that is let's say if i want to take a range of that array let's say if i want to take like uh, from uh, fifth to seventh all right from fifth to eighth then how i can do this so this is also possible let's write like this let's comment this and take another slice slice and then uh, ampersand array and this time if i write zero dot dot and then if i want to put like uh, uh, seventh uh, from i will start from fifth number and then i will take uh, take uh, like uh, end this to seventh number then five six seven all right so these three numbers will be printed out so zero one two all right so two numbers will be printed but i don't need to write the two instead i will write three because the third number will be ignored i don't if i write two then the seventh number will be ignored all right so zero one two so if you want to print this two or if you want to print the seven also then you need to mention the number above it so i will write the three so now this time it will take zero one two and these three numbers will be printed but the third number will be ignored because the index is starting from zero that's why the numbers are going to be uh, increasing so let's say if i write like this if i print this uh, it is printed by default if i clear this now you can see here it has given me the error so why this has given me the error because i need to write the colon plus question mark so for the, this colon and question mark is basically useful in order to debug the code all right so uh, in general cases when you want to print a simple array this will work fine without giving this kind of uh, sign right but let's say if the data is complex let's say if you want to print like multiple uh, uh, numbers in an array or if there is a nested array like array in an array so if the data is going to be complex then in order to uh, print the data there will be not a normal mode instead there will be the debugging mode in which you can you that you can use it in uh, in order to print it so this is just how you can deal with the complex data structures right so yeah this is what the purpose of it right so this time if I write it, you can see here the data is printed successfully because this has told the uh, like the rest. Uh, this has basically told uh, to the rest that yeah, this is the complex data structure. This is not just normal uh, data that you will be printed right here. So as you can see here in a normal array, you will just pointing out to the 
first index or the second index or the third index there was not that many complications in it but now here in this slice there are some complications because you are pointing out to the specific arrays uh, and you are taking a range of it so that's why the data is going to be complicated and that's why the debugging tool or the debugging mode will be used in it that is basically this side and now if you can see here uh, that fifth number is printed sixth number is printed and the seventh number is printed but let's say if i want to write two then what it will do here it will print the first number zero one and the second one will be ignored keep this in mind that whenever whatever number you will write here at the end that number will be ignored so if you are writing like uh, two or three or four the two or three or four number will be ignored and the below numbers will be printed so if the index is starting from zero then zero one then the two number will be ignored and if you want to write like three then zero one two and the third number will be ignored if you are writing like four then the zero one two three four then the fourth number will be ignored so yeah this is the point that you need to keep in mind if i write it as you can see here the eighth is printed but the ninth number is ignored all right so this is how you can do this and now if i write five then it will basically print this for me as you can see here now the fifth number will be ignored because the fifth number is not present and even if it is present it will not it will still be ignored but now you can see here that all the numbers are printed here but there is another catch also let's say if i don't want to mention this fifth number i want to print all the numbers this can also be possible right as you can see here this is also possible because it has taken all the numbers from zero to or to the end so let's say if i want to write like one then it will skip this uh, fifth number and it will start all the number from six to nine if i clear this as you can see here it will take the number from six and then print uh, to the end so yeah this is how you can uh, work with the slices and how you can deal with these ranges that uh, from which range to which range you are going to print the numbers and this is the debugging mode through which you can deal with the complex data structures instead of just normally printing an array or one slice of an array so yeah i hope you understood but now let's take a look at another example that slice and this time if i write like uh, what you can say uh, array uh, let's say array uh, zero uh, zero to all and now let's say if I write like uh, slice print slice okay so now this will be possible mm, like this so print slice let's say if I want to print one okay or if I want to print one like this so it will only print the sixth for me okay so let's write clear this okay so here is another sign that I need to put like this. semicolon as you can see here it is only going to be printing the six for me if i change this to let's say two it is going to print the seventh for me why because first of all this array is taking all the numbers from zero to to the end right now i'm going to taking the specific slice from this array by printing this all right although it was possible like this also as i have shown you like you just wrote the array one all right and now it printed it for you but this case you can also write it like you can print all the numbers you can take all the numbers in a slice and now you can change the slice numbers uh, every time right so you don't need to change the uh, uh, like arrays in here instead you will be able to change the slices here all right so this is also possible Okay, so this time it was. You can see here the length is uh, extended, so I need to keep this like four. This time it will work. Right, the index is five. So, as you can see here, the ninth number is printed. So yeah, this is also possible. Uh, this is one way in order to print one slice, and this is another way in order to print one slice, in which you will take all the numbers in an array as a reference and then you will print it in a slice one by one 
So yeah, I hope you understood that what is array and how you can deal with this, especially with the ranging and uh, by like uh, how you can uh, use the debugging mode for complex data structures. But uh, yeah, I, I hope you understood that. What do I mean by this? Uh, these things. So if you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then ask those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. So till then, goodbye.